it's almost the day before Christmas 2017 it's the 23rd December it's a Saturday this is Bedwas Bedwas has a Christmas tree I didn't even realize I don't know if it's a council tree but I will put it there thank you anyway a couple of festive pints I'm going in search of a tiny bear for friends over the pond it's mild, it's dry, there's only a slight breeze. It's all jingly. <laughs> okay. Well, for ages I was the only person on the bus. There was Santa at the wheel who was very jolly and very happy and from Barbet. And there was this lovely old lady. It's all quiet. The night before the night before Christmas. Okay, so Queen's Hotel, two coffees and a bacon roll. I'm gonna get my spot. And we're off. And I'm not yeah, sure. This is Santa Paws from those bold mastiff boys, and it's hang on. Oh, it's 4.9% alcohol by volume. Ah, the colour balance is cracking in. That's nice. Oh, bit of festive carpet for Mr. Manning. Ooh. Tastes strong. Tastes alcoholic, actually. Malty and spicy. B+. Plus. I remember why I don't usually drink Bold Mastiff. It's not that it's not good beer, it's just that I don't like their styles. Still, well produced. So we'll start off with the colour balance, not quite right. Anyway, don't tell anyone, but I'm feeling a bit festive. And I got another mention on a podcast. That makes me happy. Ah, right, okay, so this is the Romney Brewery from Blind Avon, not in the Romney Valley at all, or oh, Dallas, I believe. This is gift horse at 4.5% alcohol by volume. I think the technical term is traditional bitter. Hmm. Not bad at all. Malty, a hint of bitterness, no, oh, quite a lot of bitterness in the finish, nice long finish, that's B plus and um, yeah. traditional, a traditional Christmas. Well, it's Christmas, it's mild, it's very mild actually, it's not raining, it's not blowing a gale. And there are fine ales about. Old tidings of comfort and darts on the TV. <sighs> um, Rudolph's Razzle at 4.2% alcohol by volume. Brewed by brains, although you wouldn't tell from the pump clip because it doesn't say. Thank you, untapped. Oh, Vogue. Um. Ooh. Your basic terrible B. I know I'll get it. no. No wonder they didn't put their name on it. I'm running behind schedule so I'm now on the halves. This is Ho 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 by Artisanal Craft Beer, five percent alcohol by volume. Had a quick carpet for Mr. Manning. Mm, not a lot of aroma, however. The finish is nicely hoppy and fruity. B plus. 
the sun is out. This will not be bad for a time of year. So I'm going in search of tiny rebel cams with the bear on the front. It probably won't last long. Yay. I like it here. But by the way, emergency free fish in the harbour fish bar. Thank you. We are back. And there are tons of um, festive things. Including this is from Burden, and we like Burden. Some such like things. India Pale Ale, six percent, six point eight percent. That's more like it. And there's a Christmas tree, and it smells fruity and hoppy. Oh, that's nice. More bitter than fruity. It's still quite fruity. B plus plus. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Save the tiny bear. Okay. Worst present. This is from Wild Weather Ales in a Brewfest glass. This is from September 2017. This is oh hell. Um, it's 4.5% alcohol by volume. Bear with me, reanimator. And we love wild, wild weather ales. Smells hoppy. I must say it's a little thin. Nicely hoppy, but. Wow, weather, this is yeah. It smells nice, but it's still a B plus, but wow, makes it much better than that. So wow. Um, the 3G is rammed, there's no 4G. The Wi-Fi is completely rammed. This is Beaver Town Skull Kingdom 98, 9.2% alcohol by volume. Here's the Brewfest 2018. Really hoppy aroma. Wow, there's a lot of alcohol here. That is most easily a B plus plus in a bit. 3.75 on the untapped scale.